I extend, I extend a warm welcome to each of you this evening. Graduates, parents, faculty and staff, trustees, relatives, and friends. Tonight is a culminating moment, a time to celebrate, and a launching point for these amazing young women. Most of all, it is a moment of overwhelming joy to be together and to recognize and honor each young woman of the class of 2022. Graduates, we are so proud of you and look forward to celebrating your accomplishments, dreams, and great promise. I'd like now to invite Cindy Lohman, President of the Holy Names Academy Board of Trustees, to come forward and lead us in an opening invocation. Please join me in prayer. Loving and gracious God, we come to you today with hearts full of gratitude. We thank you for the class of 2022 and the many gifts that they have provided to the Holy Names community. We thank you for the sisters of the Holy Names of Jesus and Mary and the many ways they live out their mission to prepare young women for leadership and lives of loving service. We are thankful for the faculty and staff, administrators, and trustees of Holy Names Academy who have challenged these students to develop their scholastic capabilities and individual talents. We are grateful for the parents and families of our graduates who have nurtured these young women throughout their lives. As the class of 2022 looks forward towards the horizon to new beginnings, bless them, guide them, and inspire them. We ask these in all things in your name. Amen.
It's my pleasure and honor to welcome Dr. Tracy Hilliard as our commencement speaker tonight. I'm also proud to say that Dr. Hilliard is a member of the Holy Names class of 1995. As she wrote to me in preparation for this introduction, she expressed her gratitude for her leadership experience at Holy Names Academy, which prepared her for a lifetime of servant leadership in her community and academic and professional endeavors. Dr. Hilliard is the director of the Center for Culturally Responsive Engagement at the Michigan Health Institute. In this role, she works to center communities most impacted by inequities and furthest from justice through strategic planning, learning, evaluation, training, and facilitation. She is also the director of the Seattle Satellite Office of the Michigan Health Institute. Dr. Hilliard is a graduate of the inaugural cohort for the Annie E. Casey Foundation Leaders in Equitable Evaluation and Diversity Program, designed to produce doctoral trained evaluators committed to advancing equity and social justice for children and families. She has led equity-focused projects with clients and partners across the nation, including the W.K. Kellogg Foundation, Ford Foundation, Kresge Foundation, Kansas Health Foundation, Seattle Foundation, King County Foundation, and the University of Washington's School of Public Health, and many more. A community servant, she enjoys leadership and service in several national and local service organizations, including the Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority, the Lynx Incorporated, and as a board member for Building Changes, a homelessness advocacy organization for Washington. She is past chair of the American Public Health Association's Health Informatics and Information Technology section, and she was selected as an inaugural member of the United States Department of Health and Human Services Regional Health Equity Council for our Region uh, 10. Dr. Hilliard has a clinical faculty appointment at the University of Washington's Department of Psychosocial and Community Health, and she is an affiliate researcher at the University of Illinois' Urbana-Champaign Center for Culturally Responsive Evaluation and Assessment. Dr. Hilliard has a bachelor's with distinction from sociology, a master's in public health and uh, in maternal and child health, and a PhD in health services, all from the University of Washington. In her spare time, she enjoys live music, travel, and spending time with family and friends, including those she has had for over 30 years since they met at Holy Names Academy. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Tracy Hilliard. Tracy. Okay. Thank you so much, that was wonderful. Okay. Thank you so much for that lovely introduction. I still want to call you Mrs. Swift, even though you've told me I could call you Liz. <laughs> I first give honor to God for blessing me with the opportunity to be here with all of you tonight. Also give thanks to my parents for a heavy nudge to consider Holy Names Academy, a school I immediately fell in love with after visiting in the eighth grade. Also want to give thanks to all the faculty, staff, and students who were part of my life changing experience at the Academy from 1991 to 1995 when I graduated. And I assume that some of you are in the audience here and perhaps watching on the live stream at home. And last but not least, greetings to all the families, friends, faculty, and staff, and trustees, both here at Benner Royal Hall and watching online. And most importantly, to the Holy Names Academy Class of 2022, good evening. 
And so for those of you that are familiar with some of the tradition at the Academy, we have a rotation every three years of names of our classes. The three names are the Pipers, the Cadets, and the Skippers. And I was so delighted to hear as a fellow Skipper from the, excuse me, fellow Piper from the class of 1995, <laughs> let me get it straight. I haven't been out of school that long that my memory should be failing me. <laughs> as a fellow Piper from the class of 1995, I was so delighted to hear that I would be providing the commencement address to a fellow group of Pipers. And so, yeah, cheer for the Pipers. So with that tradition, I have to ask, are there Pipers in the house? <laughs> All right, I think they're here. They'll remind me if not, that that's what a Piper does. So in January of this year, I noticed a voicemail on my phone and I recognized the Holy Names Academy number. I immediately figured it was one of those annual calls I would get with some lovely student volunteering to make the ask for an annual contribution. And I didn't listen to the message right away. Something in my spirit told me to, yeah, you guys must get a lot of those calls, right? You know what that's like. <laughs> and they'll keep coming, let me tell you. Something in my spirit told me that I should listen to the message before deleting it. And to my surprise, it was not a call for annual giving, but it was Mrs. Swift calling to invite me to serve as the commencement speaker this year. I was shocked at first, and then after a moment I thought to myself, young women at Holy Names are taught not to always ask the question, why me? But instead, why not me? There is nothing we can't do. The possibilities are endless. Isn't that right? And so now I'll share with you to begin just a few brief highlights of who I am and why I answered the call to share some of my story and bring inspiration to the graduates during their commencement this evening. Simply put, I've been fortunate to utilize my skills and strengths to excel as a student, earning my bachelor's, master's, and PhD from the University of Washington, and eventually serving as a faculty member at the UW as well. I've launched a career path as a researcher and evaluator, primarily in the field of public health, which a lot of people didn't understand what that was before a couple of years ago. Have also served as an executive, an educator, and a consultant. I specialize in the use of data to disrupt racism and other forms of oppression for driving systems transformation and equitable outcomes for those most impacted by inequities and furthest from justice. And I've also been very committed to living a spiritually driven life of service to others. I learned that at HNA. After reflecting, I realized I would have a solid story to tell about how the Academy prepared me for life. I was told that the graduating class would love to hear a few stories from my time at HNA. So I'll start with the fun parts first so we can get the embarrassing stories out of the way. My disclaimer is the most embarrassing moments are the funniest now. I'll start with the stairs. <laughs> like everyone I know that went to Holy Names, I definitely had a fall or two on the stairs rushing from the locker room in the basement to the fourth floor class. If there is anyone who has not had a fall on the stairs, please raise your hand and let's acknowledge you. As you can see, I think I could count how many were on one hand. And I'm not sure when I did it, if I fell on the stairs or not, but I remember injuring my foot and then I got an elevator pass. <laughs> and so as you may know, the elevator pass is probably one of the most coveted things an H&A girl could have. <laughs> so I had a, a glory days riding the elevator as I healed from my injury. 
I also remember fondly getting on a bus in the first few days of the school year and going to the Puyallup Fair. And as you may know, at the fair they have photo booths where you can take pictures and laugh at looking at the silly faces you make years later. And so two of my best friends, uh, it was only freshman year, but we developed close relationship uh, over our time at the academy. And I think by the time we were juniors or seniors, we had an idea for a Halloween costume to blow up the pictures from the photo booth and make masks of one another. And I have to say that the rest of the class, when it came time to vote by applause, didn't vote for us. <laughs> and we were really embarrassed, but at the same time, we thought it was so funny and we felt like we had the last laugh. I also remember, as you can imagine, uh, we're trained very well to become public speakers, hence I'm here tonight. And I remember being in Sister Rosemary's Honors English 9 class, and it was my uh, assignment to give a speech. And someone in the class, when asking a question, said something that was kind of an inside joke related to probably one of the myths or legends at Holy Names <laughs> that students pass down from year to year. And so it kind of triggered everybody to chuckle, and I lost composure. And Sister Rosemary said to me, Tracy, if you need a break, just turn around and take a break and come back. <laughs> and so that's what I did. So fortunately, I've never had to utilize that strategy again, but it's very memorable, and I'm sure anybody who was in the classroom that day would remember because they were laughing more than I was. I also remember in my early days um, hearing from the teachers, uh, it reminded me of my, my interest in becoming later a sociologist, that they said that all of us could never really focus on our academics on the days that we had early dismissal to go to an assembly at O'Day. They said that we dressed up for the first time, we'd have on makeup and different clothes instead of rolling to school and whatever we could get away with. And one of my favorites always was the O'Day dances, uh, especially I remember once I got my license, um, I was fortunate to have inherited from my favorite cousin, a uh, wrecked 1978 Buick Regal. Now remember this is like 1994. <laughs> and that 1978 Buick Regal, he handed it down to me because uh, it was wrecked. The front was totally bashed in. <laughs> And it even made a noise when you turned the corner so you could hear me coming. <laughs> but believe it or not, everyone in my class, and especially my friends that hung out with me, thought it was the coolest car. And so I remember explicitly being at the dancers, we had a strong strategy that as soon as the lights came on, we'd pile in the car and rush to Dick's Drive-In on Broadway to make sure that we got the front parking spot where we could see everything and be seen. And I have to say, I don't know how we did it, but we got that spot every time. Also remember uh, lots of fun when we went to Twin Tolo, dressed like our dates. Uh, was really exciting, and I'm guessing you all just had a great time bringing prom dates to the school to meet the teachers. And some of you may have been there on our senior class day. Uh, I was fortunate, even though I'm not a musician, to have taken piano class in my senior year, and one of my best friends, Jasmine McDuffie, also took the class, and we decided to do a duet uh, in front of the entire student body uh, on our senior class day, and we played the theme from the TV show, Cheers. So I know I might be dating myself a little bit, it was already an old school TV show then that ran from the 1980s to the early 90s, and the theme is about saying, wouldn't you want to go someplace where everybody knows your name? And we just did the instrumental on the piano, but somehow together we, st we stumbled. And you could tell we didn't quite know what to do at first. And then we just started over, and the entire audience started laughing. And they still remind us to that, that fun uh, to this day. And lastly, you heard I like live music. Uh, it's so exciting to be here on the stage at Benaroya since I come here often for various concerts, but I've never been on stage since I'm not a musician and I unfortunately can't sing. Uh, but I remember I was really excited and my friends were excited because I had an older brother who at this time, and so I know graduating class, this might be hard to understand, but 
at the time I was probably a freshman or sophomore, CDs are how we would listen to music. That's CD stands for compact disc. <laughs> and so um, the CDs would come out, they would still come, you could buy them at a store called Tower Records. A record was a predecessor of a CD. <laughs> and at midnight, they would release any CD that was being released on the next, the officially the next day. So they would stay open at midnight for people that wanted to buy them fresh on the release day. And so it was a really big deal that I brought to school fresh from midnight, the latest Snoop Dogg CD. <laughs> I had no idea then that Snoop Dogg would become the legend that he is now. And then last but not least, the mystery of the dome. Uh, I, it was interesting once I talked to some students, it seems like that continues to be a mystery for many of what's actually in and under the dome. So in addition to all the fun, I do have some experiences that I'd like to share that also set my life on a path which has brought me to being here as your commencement speaker today. I'll give you the acronym FLARE to follow. F-L-A-R-E. Faith, leadership, academics, relationships, and excellence. Faith. Living life in the image of God. I remember learning prayer, meditation, addressing contemporary problems, morals, and ethics, and most importantly, servant leadership. It led me to be a public servant in my career and as a volunteer, and my motto is, if I can help somebody, then my living is not in vain. It also led me to think about a moral imperative to be in service to those who have been most impacted by racism and other forms of oppression, as has been mentioned in my career. And being an advocate, an activist for equity and social justice, so all God's children have what they need to be healthy and thrive. I'll go on a tangent for just a minute and share that I was so delighted to receive a phone call from Sister Rosemary Parisich. And I want to give a shout out. I believe that she and Sister Dorothy Dees are watching on the live stream tonight. And I was so excited to hear from her. I shared with her that I had been praying on what I might say in the remarks this evening and asked her to pray with and for me. And she said, Tracy, if you do nothing else, number one, don't ramble on and on. <laughs> and number two, bring the students and the audience joy. And I thought to myself, it's so amazing that she said that because I had been wrestling as I had been thinking of my remarks, particularly in recent weeks of the current events, namely the murders in Buffalo, and in Uvalde, Texas most recently. And so I struggled to think during this time, how could we acknowledge that and also come to celebrate and really do justice to all of the accomplishments of our graduates tonight? And so I found myself with a scripture. 1 Peter, verse 1, 8 and 9. Though you have not seen him, you love him, and even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and are filled with an inexpressible and glorious joy, for you are receiving the end result of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Simply put, Lord, give me joy and faith even in trials. And even if the Bible is not your book of choice, I would say just remember that with faith comes joy. Be glad despite of circumstance. The L is for leadership. We can be anything we want to be. Academics, career-wise, athletics, arts, spiritual development. We're encouraged at Holy Names to be well-rounded as whole individuals. For me, I was freshman and sophomore class president and student body president during my senior year. That prepared me to lead a team, 
as an executive, to be prepared with public speaking, not only at commencement speeches, but to our mayor and city council members, and giving presentation at academic conferences, and facilitating as a consultant with large audiences. And again, that message of leadership. Not why me, but why not me? And if not me, then who? Again, the A is for academics. I've committed myself to being a lifelong learner and loved learning being at Holy Names, particularly being encouraged in the areas of science and math, fields that are historically underrepresented for women and people of color. That prepared me to be a researcher, an evaluator, a faculty member, and a consultant called upon for critical thinking and analytical skills. I also remember early in my career after Holy Names receiving feedback from many people about scholarship applications and other programs I applied to for enrichment, and they would always share with me that they selected me because of my essays, and I knew that was from the strong writing program that we had at Holy Names. Fast forward in my daily life now, I often write proposals for grants and contracts, and it continues to pay off. The R is for relationships. You'll be establishing relationships here that may last you for the rest of your lives. I still have two of my best friends, Jasmine McDuffie and Lisa Alexander to this day, and we met over three decades ago. I also have had the pleasure to be connected as a mentor to young women that I've met along my journey that were in classes after mine. And I even was really excited when I was working as an executive at City of Seattle Human Services Department to be a dynamic duo with a student who was a freshman when I was a senior named Catherine Bush. It was also really exciting to find my real estate agent, Michelle Santos Fisher, uh, from the freshman class when I was a senior as well. And the E simply is for excellence. At Holy Names, we're taught to be the best at all we can do and do it with the utmost integrity. And so it's my honor and privilege to bring inspirations to the class of 2022 as you begin your commencement experience. Let's think about the root word of commencement, which means a beginning, not an end. One of the approaches I utilize in my consulting and research activities is to speak directly to the people most impacted in the community of focus. We call this culturally responsive practice. So naturally, my first thought in preparing my remarks for today was to speak to members of the graduating class. I had a wonderful experience speaking with some of these amazing young women on the stage tonight, and here's a summary of what they shared. Holy Names has been fun. Holy Names taught me love. Holy Names taught me growth. Holy Names taught me adaptation. Holy Names taught me unity. Holy Names taught me resilience. Holy Names taught me racial justice and social justice. Holy Names taught me confidence. Holy Names taught me to take care of myself and my mental health. Holy Names taught me perseverance. Holy Names taught me courage for the next stage of my life. Holy Names taught me a foundation of sisterhood. Holy Names taught me about how to go with the flow. Holy Names taught me authenticity. Holy Names taught me about what happens when we trust in our heart. Holy Names taught me perseverance. Holy Names taught me that failure is a growth opportunity. Holy Names taught me to not take your time under the dome for granted. These are some of the best years of your life. And as I said, I'm a lover of music, and so I asked the students if they had a song that they thought really captured their time or was a favorite song of theirs. Uh, I was surprised since he's still around, they didn't say anything from Snoop Dogg. <laughs> so I think there's been some progress made since my day. <laughs> 
Instead, they shared with me, a, they said their theme song was a song called 10,000 Reasons. <laughs> I think they know that one. <laughs> And so 10,000 Reasons is a contemporary Christian song by an artist named Matt Redman. The song is based on Psalm 103. And again, I wish I could sing, but I don't want this to go viral and be the bane of my existence. So I will speak the words. They say, bless the Lord, O my soul. O my soul, worship his holy name. Sing like never before, O my soul. I'll worship your holy name. And then in the second verse, they say, you're rich in love and you're slow to anger. Your name is great and your heart is kind. For all your goodness, I will keep singing 10,000 reasons for my heart to find. So class of 2022, I struggled to figure out how to give you 10,000 reasons of inspiration in the 15 to 20 minutes I was allotted on today's program. And then God spoke to me with the answer. You are now part of a legacy of over 10,000 graduates of Holy Names Academy since its founding in 1880. Did you know that? It's on the website, you can fact check that. <laughs> so you all, each of you, every single one of you, you are the reasons. You are now the inspiration for many more to come. You confirmed those outcomes you shared about how your experience at Holy Names has changed your life over the last four years. I just shared your words about the return on investment of yourselves, your time, your energy, that of your families, and all those who have invested in you inside and outside of the academy. Often what I do as a consultant is partner to help communities and funders evaluate the impact of their work and review and reconsider their strategies. I do that by comparing the data and stories with the mission of the organization. So let's review the HNA mission for a moment. Holy Names inspires young women of diverse beliefs and backgrounds to excel in life with confidence and courage, to think critically act with purpose, advocate for justice, serve with compassion, and lead with integrity. If I were evaluating the academy based on what the graduating class has shared, I would report back in two words, mission accomplished. So to the students, faculty, staff, families, friends, trustees, wouldn't you agree that the class of 22 is on point living examples of HNA's mission at its best? And as I reflect back to my original question I asked myself when I got that call in January, why me? I am confident why I was called to share this message with you all this evening. It is one that is data-driven, trusted, and verified. You all, the Pipers of 2022, have everything you need to begin this next chapter of your lives. Not because I said so, but because you are the living testament to your ability to survive and thrive, no matter what you encounter on your journey. That is evident as we are here celebrating this major accomplishment and life milestone, receiving your high school diploma this evening. 
You have completed high school amidst the biggest pandemic of our lifetime and in the history of Holy Names Academy. You did this during times of uncertainty, during times of national and worldwide racial reckoning, and during times of ins economic insecurity for many. And I should add that none of these things that I call the triple pandemic are over. Pipers from 2022, you did that. If it wasn't enough, some of you may have doubt. Take it from me, I did it in 1995 and you heard my story. If you need more proof, it's my understanding that 33% of the staff at the Academy are alums. They've lived this experience and continue to dedicate their lives to continuing the legacy. I wanna give a special shout out to Mrs. Swift who after 28 years as principal and 20 years of service before that to the Academy is winding down her time and her legacy at the Academy. I think that's another great example of what it exemplifies for so many to live a life of service, particularly in giving back to the Academy. So class of 2022, this is your time. This is your moment. Always remember, you are the reason. Have fun. Choose joy. And as you continue on your journeys, remember my acronym, FLAIR. You will get called to share your faith. You will get called to share your leadership. You will be called to share your academic skills and strengths. You will be called to foster, nurture, maintain, and leverage relationships. And you will be called to uphold the legacy of Holy Names Academy, one of excellence that has been instilled in you and over 10,000 other women since 1880. Sometimes the calls will be direct and sometimes they will be indirect. And when they come, be ready. Ask yourselves an answer, not only why you, but why not you, and if not you, then who? Congratulations to the class of 2022. Holy names forevermore. Each student will receive a diploma that reads, Holy Names Academy, Seattle, Washington, established by the Sisters of the Holy Names in Jesus and Mary, 142 academic years. This certifies that the following students, having completed the course of studies for secondary school, directed by the Sisters of the Holy Names of Jesus and Mary are awarded these diplomas. In witness whereof, we have affixed our signatures and the corporate seal on this 29th day of May in the year of our Lord, 2022. As students receive their diploma, we will share some of the honors, distinctions, and activities for each of the members of the class of 2022. Awards include our Holy Names Academy valedictorians and salutatorians, as well as honors from the College Board. 
The National Merit Program recognizes students for high scores on the PSAT during junior year. And this year we have four finalists and 18 commended students. Students can also earn recognition from the College Board for high scores on AP tests. This year, we have 88 students from the class who have earned AP Scholar recognition on tests taken through their junior year. And this number will only increase with scores that arrive from this year's tests. And we will also share activities each student selected that were meaningful to them during their high school experience. Students will be called up by row to receive their diplomas. You may applaud for students after their name and accomplishments and activities have been read. Please hold applause once the student has received her diploma so that the next name may be clearly heard and so that our program may end on time. <laughs> I'm counting on you. <laughs> Megan Common Choi. Yearbook Recruiter. <laughs> Mary Grace Janet Donahue. Crew, <laughs> crew hostess at Tutabella. <laughs> Cindy Marie Gabalas. Crew Community Service. <laughs> Teresa Marie Akers. Leadership Community Service. You're very lucky. <laughs> the next student, Jack Peregrine Beasley. Robotics Theater. <laughs> Sadie McCray Beers. Cross Country Peer Mentor. Madison Yesenia Elaine Blackmore. Community Service, Swim and Dive. <laughs> Avery Suzanne Brennan. Cross Country, HNA Bowling. Julia Grace Lastimosa Cantor. Multicultural Student Union and Asian Pacific Islander Club Leader, Campus Ministry Student Leadership Officer, AP Scholar. <laughs> Samantha Jacqueline Choi. Fine Arts National Honor Society, AP Scholar. Layla Lynn Collins. Swim and Dive National Honor Society, National Merit Commended Student, AP Scholar with Distinction, Salutatorian. <laughs> Aliana Desiree De La Torre Gonzalez. Lat Latina, Latina Student Union Leader, Cross Country, AP Scholar with Honor. Portia Nicole Ellis. Theater, Swim and Dive, AP Scholar. <laughs> Nia Joanne Fletcher. Theater and Film, Pipe Organ, AP Scholar with Distinction. Sophia Marie Frazzini. Gymnastics Captain, Theater Company Manager. <laughs> 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 
Maria Kisana Gonzalez Bravo. Fine Arts Dance. Marielle Ruth Pangalinen. Community Service Peer Mentor. Athena Elaine Clarino Ortega. National Honor Society Officer, Ambassador Officer, AP Scholar with Distinction, Salutatorian. <laughs> Lucy Margaret Nord. Lacrosse Campus Ministry Student Leadership. Veronica Scott Muse. Art, Gymnastics, AP Scholar with Honor, Salutatorian. <laughs> Fanola Kenny McGuire. Cross Country, Student Ambassador. <laughs> Kira Michelle McGinnis. Skiing Gymnastics. <laughs> Kayla Eba Matson. Recruiter, National Honor Society, AP Scholar with Honor, Salutatorian. <laughs> Sophia Marie Malaspino. Swim and Dive Captain, Peer Mentor. <laughs> Imani Priscilla Maher. Black Student Union, Cross Country. <laughs> Grace Catherine Maher. Campus Ministry Officer, Community Service, National Merit Commended Student, AP Scholar with Honor. Ruby Catherine Lesh. Lacrosse, Hiking, AP Scholar. Gracie May Lebold. Ambassador, club leader, AP scholar. <laughs> Ruby Ann Lactrup. Soccer, peer mentor. <laughs> Zoe Alexis Zhang. Robotics, Fine Arts, National Merit Scholarship Finalist, AP Scholar with Honor, Salutatorian. <laughs> Estella Grace Deliana Turla. National Honor Society Officer, Cross Country, AP Scholar. Sarah Catherine Clutey. National Honor Society, Gymnastics Captain, AP Scholar with Honor. Let us congratulate all of these graduates. Marie Gray. Soccer Captain, ASB Officer. <laughs> Claire Edith Gross. Cross Country, Track, AP Scholar. <laughs> Clara Henna King Crosby. Ballet, co-class president, AP Scholar with honor. <laughs> 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 
Quinn Alexandria Kidd. Campus Ministry Officer, Basketball Manager. <laughs> Jasper Gary Clara King. Music, New Works, AP Scholar. Anna Huang Kliwine. Swim and Dive, Ultimate Frisbee. <laughs> Anya Sujit Kashama Kumar. Ambassador Officer, Tennis Captain. <laughs> Lily Catherine Kurtz. Crew, voting rights activist, AP scholar with honor. Yes! <laughs> Cecilia Cardinal Blexred. Yes! National Honor Society, backpacking. <laughs> Truly Jane Bunker. Choir, theater, AP scholar with honor. Caroline Grace Byrne. Soccer, cross country, AP scholar. Samantha Reese Carriger. National Honor Society, Soccer, AP Scholar with Distinction, Salutatorian. <laughs> Menda Zhao Chin. Chess, Soccer, National Merit Commended Student, AP Scholar with Distinction, Valedictorian. Sophie Claire DeMello Isuza. Eclectic Strings Dance. <laughs> Josephine Mary DeTurk. Sport and Spirit Officer Farming. Adela Julie DeLuki. Crew, team captain. <laughs> Elizabeth Megan Eck. Crew, HNA Bowling, AP Scholar. Jasmine Juliet Eid. National Honor Society Officer, mm -hmm. Middle Eastern Student Union Leader, National Merit Commended Student, AP Scholar with Honor, Salutatorian. Yes! <laughs> Hannah Hawkins Embry. Vocal Ensemble, Community Service. Isabel Makalas Rubicek. Fashion Search Retreat Leader. Gisela Gregory Roberts. Cards for Kids Club Leader, Orchestra, AP Scholar with Distinction, Salutatorian. Reese Lauren Saturn Kibon. Basketball, Sport and Spirit Leadership. <laughs> Kira Sage Mullane. Dance, Allied Against Ableism Club Leader. <laughs> 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 
Kleina Helen McWeegan. Volleyball National Honor Society AP Scholar. Claire Frances McGowan. Soccer National Honor Society. Molly Marianne Mazur. Swim and Dive Yearbook. <laughs> Nina Ruth Maxson. Basketball Community Service National Merit Commended Student Valedictorian. Angelina Gabriella Maney. Soccer Team Captain, Fine Arts. <laughs> Adelaide Ashiwa Millet. Camp Counselor, Yearbook, National Merit Commended Student, AP Scholar with Honor. Ava Helen Lyson. Lacrosse, ASB officer. <laughs> Ava Claire Wasserman. Peer mentor, dance. <laughs> Serena Wang. Social Justice Committee, Community Service. <laughs> Lena Bao Nyok Tran. Mock Trial, Ambassador Officer, AP Scholar with Distinction, Valedictorian. <laughs> Maggie Samella. Figure Skating, Fine Arts, AP Scholar with Honor. <laughs> Riley Neri Reynolds. Cross Country, Art. <laughs> she loves you too. <laughs> Angelique Christiana Rigandola. Asian Pacific Islander Club Leader, True Colors Club Leader, AP Scholar. <laughs> Ella Ray Petercheck. Volleyball Recruiter Officer, National Merit Commended Student, AP Scholar with Distinction, Valedictorian. <laughs> Let us congratulate these graduates. <laughs> Margaret Irene Cornell Endress. Cross Country Lacrosse AP Scholar. <laughs> Liliana Maria Fernandez. City of Covington Youth Volunteer of the Year Award. Volleyball Coach AP Scholar. Cosette Simone Fleury. Track and Field Community Service. <laughs> Natalie Sana Fuller. Tennis Captain and State Champion. <laughs> National Honor Society AP Scholar with Honor.
Madeline Elizabeth Gabbert. Intern at Kepos Capital Hedge Fund, ASB Officer, AP Scholar. <laughs> Emma Christine Garcia. Latina Student Union Leader, Cross Country. <laughs> Ryan Kathleen Garcia. Volleyball, Social Justice Committee, AP Scholar. <laughs> Olivia Ruth Hall. Crew, Baking. <laughs> Kristen Hamaker. Student Ambassador, Wellness Club Leader. <laughs> Joan Alexandria Hansen. Shirts Across America Core Team, Peer Tutor, AP Scholar. <laughs> Emma Kimberlin Hartz. <laughs> Crew, Ambassador Officer. <laughs> Emily Marie Hawkins. Gymnastics Captain, Ambassador Officer, AP Scholar. <laughs> Devin Elizabeth Hodson. Girl Power Club Leader, Peer Mentor. <laughs> Stella Salila Isarankura. Tennis Multicultural Student Union. Morad Ivanis. Soccer Yearbook. <laughs> McKenna Nicole Jane. Girl Power Club Leader, Soccer. <laughs> Tyler Marie Jane. Fine Arts, Soccer. <laughs> Lauren Ann Johnson. Swim, Special Olympics Swim Coach. <laughs> Sydney Elizabeth Jones. Cross Country, National Honor Society, National Merit Commended Student. <laughs> Anaya Giovanna West. Community Service, Mock Trial. <laughs> Riley Elizabeth Wells. Lacrosse, cross country, AP scholar with honor. <laughs> May Margaret Vanderslice. Swim, backstage musical crew, AP scholar with honor, salutatorian. Andy Julia Triplett. Racial Justice Advocate, Robotics, AP Scholar. <laughs> Anna Coleman Treat. Soccer, National Honor Society, AP Scholar with Distinction, Valedictorian. Maria Lynn Torrey. 
cross country, track and field. Masai Amari Thornton. Track and field, multicultural student union and black student union leader. Catherine Therese Summers. Golf captain, yearbook editor, National Merit Scholarship finalist, AP scholar. <laughs> Isabel Sophia Strong. Gymnastics, swimming. Carmela Kathleen Stewart. Vocal Ensemble, Community Service. <laughs> Michaela Ann Smith. Soccer, Bouldering, AP Scholar with Honor. <laughs> Riley Cameron Schaefer. Soccer, HNA Bowling. Yeah. Eleanor Paulina Sebring. Theater, filmmaking. Yeah. Kai Schnitzius. Tennis, fine arts. Sophia Isabel Schleibner. Crew, Community Service, National Merit Scholarship Finalist, AP Scholar with Distinction, Valedictorian. Yeah. Chloe Jasmine Saxton. Softball, Leadership, AP Scholar with Honor. Reese Ellie Rugemer. Soccer, National Honor Society, AP Scholar. <laughs> Sydney Bell Rudolph. Black Student Union Leader, Competitive Dancer, AP Scholar with Honor. Let us congratulate these graduates. <laughs> Maya Bell Koivu. Yeah, Maya! <laughs> National National Honor Society crew, AP Scholar with Honor. <laughs> Catherine Grace Krawchick. Peer Mentor, Karate. <laughs> Annika Rose Lindbergh. National Honor Society Officer, Orchestra. <laughs> Kira Elise Anderson. Crew, Prom Committee. <laughs> Asha Savita Behrman. Golf Captain, Senior Co-Class President. Grace Elizabeth Bennett. Magazine Editor, Cards for Kids Leader, AP Scholar.
Charlotte Jo Bergevin. Mock trial co-president, theater, AP scholar with honor, salutatorian. <laughs> Jennifer Rachel Berry. Tennis, peer mentor. Zoe Magdalene Bischoff. Softball, WAC 101 Scholar Athlete Award, National Merit Commended Student, AP Scholar with Distinction, Valedictorian. <laughs> Annabelle Marin Blue. Reading, National Honor Society, AP Scholar with Honor. Anna Diane Bowden. Crew, National Honor Society, AP Scholar with Distinction, Salutatorian. <laughs> Sonia Christiana Brems. Ballet, National Honor Society. Madeleine Burdell Campbell. Mountaineering, Marine Conservation Work, National Merit Commended Student, Valedictorian. <laughs> Augusta Rob Castrodale. Peer mentor, theater company manager, National Merit Commended Student, AP Scholar with Honor. Dina Martha Wiseman Chance. Performing Arts Peer Mentor. <laughs> Dylan Ann Clausen. Social Justice Committee, Computer Science. Millicent Margaret Cole. Crew, recruiter officer, AP scholar with honor. <laughs> Ava Sophia Davis. Adulting 101 Club, soccer, AP scholar with honor. Gabrielle Taylor Smith. Swim and dive, hiking. <laughs> Tess Ann Shirley. Cross country, sport and spirit leadership. Kathleen Maureen Self. Fine Arts Guitar. <laughs> Malia Kailani Polair Schumer. Basketball, basketball manager. <laughs> Olivia Flora Sanchez. Lacrosse, soccer, AP scholar. <laughs> Theo Mokulani Patier. True Colors club leader, two time national French competition medalist, AP scholar with honor. Sabrina Oradine Poole. Golf, community service. <laughs> Sophia Gabriella Hirschla. 
Soccer, Shirts Across America, National Merit Commended Student, AP Scholar with Distinction, Valedictorian. Yumi Rose Park Davis. Cross Country, Community Service, National Merit Commended Student, AP Scholar with Distinction, Valedictorian. Taylor Leigh O'Brien. Sport and Spirit Officer, Soccer, AP Scholar. <laughs> Allison Diane Naders. Track and Field, National Honor Society. Molly Shea Murphy. Volleyball, yearbook, AP Scholar with Honor. <laughs> Harper Louise Muma. Lacrosse captain, basketball. Kylie Rose Morrow. Cross country, track and field. <laughs> Kaylin Mary Moore. Lacrosse captain, basketball, sport and spirit officer. Jessica Marie Zeminick. Vocal Ensemble, Campus Ministry Student Leadership. <laughs> Nalani Talon Young. Soccer, Sport and Spirit Officer. Fiona Mayling Williams. Swim, HNA Bowling. Let us congratulate these graduates. Abigail Evelyn Hanley. Orchestra, Orchestra Community Service. <laughs> Megan Avery Donovan. Volleyball Humane Society. Gabrielle Elizabeth Placide Edwards. Track and Field Orchestra ASB Officer. <laughs> Catherine Ellen Ernst. Rowing National Honor Society AP Scholar with Honor. Mariah Anissa Evans. Black Student Union Leader, Track and Field. <laughs> Kathleen Cooper Fort. <laughs> Ice Cream Scooper, AAUW Science Award recipient, National Merit Commended Student, AP Scholar.
Genevieve Joy Goforth. Ballet, National Honor Society, AP Scholar. Julia Gray Hansen. Soccer, Studio Art, AP Scholar with Honor. <laughs> Emma Skye Johnson. Crew, Photography, AP Scholar. Sarah Lillian Jones. Shirts Across America, National Honor Society, AP Scholar. <laughs> Cecilia Lombardi. Community Service, Fine Arts, AP Scholar with Honor, Salutatorian. Tess Catherine Miller. Community Service, Ambassador Officer, AP Scholar with Honor. <laughs> Mia Christine Bancaro. Gaming, Campus Ministry Officer. Avery Whitman Burke. Sail. <laughs> Sail Caribbean Soccer. <laughs> Amelia, Amelia Grace Butson. Allied Against Ableism Club Bass Player. Esme Teresa Campbell. Research Ambassador, National Merit Commended Student, AP Scholar with Honor, Salutatorian. <laughs> Karina Alice Edith Hammer. Basketball, National Honor Society, AP Scholar. Rebecca Grace St. Ange. Equestrian Sports Peer Mentor. <laughs> Ashton Aurora St. John. Scuba Diver, Shakespeare, AP Scholar with Distinction, Valedictorian. Elise McJennett Scott. Swim and Dive Captain, Survivor Club, National Merit, Commended Student, AP Scholar with Distinction, Valedictorian. <laughs> Mary Carolyn Murphy. Mock Trial Co-President, NHS Officer. Karina Grace Hostala. Piano, dance. <laughs> Ava Claire Yerzik. Leukemia and Lymphoma Society Student of the Year, Theater and Film. Grace Jocelyn Wiseman. Cross country, track and field, AP Scholar. Oh, 
Sophia Annabelle Williams. Vocalist of the Year, Theater, National Merit Commended Student, AP Scholar with Distinction, Valedictorian. <laughs> Gabriella Marie Wheeler. Soccer, peer mentor. <laughs> Olivia Grace Westfall. Soccer, National Charity League. Adelaide Ann Telsro. Crew, Ambassador Officer, National Merit Scholarship Finalist, AP Scholar with Distinction, Valedictorian. <laughs> Caroline Grace Serbeck. Crew, National Honor Society, AP Scholar with Distinction, Valedictorian. <laughs> Elizabeth Barbara Sullivan. Crew, Sport and Spirit. <laughs> Piper Elizabeth Stulil. Social Justice Committee, Volleyball. Chloe Isabel Stevens. Community Service Human Rights Club Leader. <laughs> Scarlett May Steiner. National Honor Society Baking AP Scholar with Honor. Sage Klista Stefanik. Cross country, basketball, National Merit Commended Student, AP Scholar with Honor. <laughs> Let us congratulate these graduates. so proud of all of our students of the class of 2022. And you would all be proud to know that 70 members of the class of 2022 received the Washington State Honors Award, which is given to the top 10% of seniors in the state of Washington. This means that nearly 40% of our seniors ranked in the top 10% of students in Washington. 110 students received the President's Award for Educational Excellence Gold Award, and 24 received the Silver Award. Members of the class of 2022 will attend 94 different colleges and universities, and 81% of the class of 2022 received collectively over $39.6 million in merit-based scholarships and awards. And approximately $7.8 million of those awards will be used to fund education. Congratulations, class of 2022, for all your achievements in and out of the classroom.
Fam Ooh. Hello? <laughs> yes. Okay. To all family, friends, faculty, alumni, and fellow students, hi, I'm Minda, one of 178 students graduating as part of HNA's class of 2022. I'd like to start by reading a few quotes from teachers taken very out of context that give you some insight into the h &A experience. <laughs> oh shoot, I'm not sharing my screen. <laughs> okay. Yes, power school is closed. No, I do not know your final grade yet. And a personal favorite, God can be nearsighted. <laughs> In all seriousness, h &A is a legacy. A legacy of good teachers with great humor, first of all, and also a legacy of institutional values and beliefs. Every h &A class is linked together by some invisible strings. We hold ourselves to high standards um, and try to push ourselves academically, sometimes slightly obsessively. Then there's a term I'm sure we've all heard floating around when describing h &A, sisterhood. But I really believe this is the term that best embodies the h &A community. First, there's the Catholicism. h &A's Catholic values, which first begun with the Sisters of the Holy Names, the original h &A sisterhood, have always been rooted in social justice and kindness. The general concepts we learned were accessible to all, regardless of your religious beliefs. I came to h &A only knowing a little about various rituals and ceremonies, and I leave understanding that Catholicism is grounded in the genuine personal interactions you create with those in your community and God. We were pushed to think critically about the church and our own role in our community, cultivating a hunger to do more and urge our institutions to do better. Sisterhood is also about pushing each other to our very best while providing unending encouragement. The people at h &A are genuinely the kindest and most supportive bunch. 
We show up to each other's sports games, theater productions, and more, giving each other encouragement in and out of the classroom. We have seen each other laugh, win, lose, cry, roll out of bed at 7.59, hop on a Teams call, and promptly roll back in bed at 8. <laughs> we have gone through it all and supported each other the whole way. This is sisterhood. But of course, this environment that cultivates support would not be what it is without all the teachers, staff, and faculty. Everyday interactions with the adults at h &A truly hold value. Teachers take the time to get to know you and are genuinely invested in your growth as a student and a person. The parking attendants will always wave back at you and the sisters remind us every day of h &A's mission statement and the SNJM values through their kindness and dedication. I would also like to say a giant thank you to all the teachers, staff, and administration in the response to COVID. No one could have predicted a year and a half pause of classroom interaction. Though there were inherent difficulties in the process, we truly appreciated the quick transition to online learning and the subsequent efforts teachers undertook to reach out to students and accommodate their needs. Now, I want to reflect a little more specifically on our class. I think an appropriate way to describe the class of 2022 is the end and the beginning. For one, we were the last class to have to wear non-blue denim to school. Shout out to the class of 2018 ASB officers. And we will be the first class to have graduated wearing sweatpants and leggings for the entirety of senior year. Thank you, administration. <laughs> We were the first class who got the luxury of the parking garage, and we were the last class that sang Thunderation at an assembly with the entire school looking on. <laughs> and let's not forget our favorite global pandemic. We started with normal school, abruptly transitioned to online school, where internet issues seemed to plague us all on test days. <laughs> and then there was hybrid school, with the air filters and numerous piles of sanitizing wipes. And finally, this year, we returned as seniors with some form of normalcy. Now, as we all look ahead, we are once again faced with a new beginning and the end of an era. But this beginning and end does not have to be linear. It can be cyclical. We can look forward to four years of college and new adventures while not forgetting the friends and memories we've already made here. Though our time under the dome may have come to an end, the impact of h &A will be everlasting. At our alumni reunion event, I fully expect another rendition of 10,000 Reasons to be sung, preferably in the chapel. <laughs> Let us not forget that the class of 2022 is a community now and will remain a community forever. As I started off with a few teacher quotes, I think it's only fitting to finish the speech off with a quote from the one and only Mrs. Dawson, make good decisions. <laughs> Thank you again to all my classmates. We did it, and I'm so excited to see the mark we leave on this world. Thank you. you guys so much. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Hello. I'm so honored and excited we get to share this moment together. Together. Who knew that word could hold so much weight? To be together. No asterisks, no poor connection, or muted mics. Though it's only recently become clear to me, and by clear I mean shoved in my face with screaming colors, I think I've been pursuing this feeling of together my whole life. I'm so lucky to have found it at Holy Names, and I'm worried about losing it at 5 a.m. tomorrow when we go our separate ways. On a rainy October morning in eighth grade, I dressed in what I thought was the Holy Names standard, fresh black jeans and a turtleneck, and set out to pretend to be a student for the day. Oddly, as I waited in the parlor, a place that's almost always empty, I was filled with a sense of overwhelming warmth. Before, even before I knew the exhausted embrace of a teammate, the uproar after winning an assembly contest, 
or the sound of 22 class day performances echoing through the auditorium, I understood the power of this place, where thousands of people had learned the joy of being together that my classmates and I would soon discover. And nestled in this rich and continuing history, itching in my sweater, I felt at home. Together, sometimes it's in your face, singing Taylor Swift at the top of our lungs, chanting senior power whenever we have the chance, clapping out a state-bound team. Sometimes it's quieter, lingering chats outside of a classroom door, compliments on the new skirt you were worried about wearing, affirmations that let you know your presence is valued. We all have orbits of people we circulate in at Holy Names that pull us into a sense of familiarity. Laughing at an inside joke with your classmates at a retreat, seeing your friends at your regular lunch table after a long morning, when your team stays to cheer at the finish line. These orbits will be different next year. We'll have to come up with new inside jokes, find new lunch spots, cheer on new teams. We'll have to create new senses of familiarity. Right now is the smallest our worlds will ever be. I'm more afraid of this than I'd like to admit. I don't want to leave this community. I found <laughs> this togetherness I feel seeping into every last day, the togetherness I feel now. But greater than this feeling of fear is the feeling of excitement. I try not to get caught up in any set of years being the absolute best years of my life. It's not like the joy of living could be diluted with age. But we are about to enter a world and years that are full of potential and growth for all of us. How exciting. <laughs> As Holy Name students, we'll probably never shake the feeling of things we should have done. Woken up earlier, gotten more sleep, done that assignment that on time or that problem the right way. But the truth is, nobody is always waking up on time or sleeping enough or never procrastinating. We set high standards for ourselves and sometimes make them impossible to reach, a pattern destined for repetition as we go out into the world. And that's okay. So long as we learn to live alongside these insecurities instead of letting them paralyze us. In the digital age, when others' achievements are only a click away, it can be easy to feel like we're behind. Now that someone somewhere is so much better at something than us, that it's too late to start something new now that we're adults at the old age of 18. The truth is, we are brimming with potential. We can do anything start painting or learn gymnastics or read the entire Twilight series. <laughs> we have time. Time to live out our beliefs in carefully laid plans. Time to watch those same beliefs and plans collapse around us. And time to pick up the pieces and start again. This time better, stronger, smarter. We are looking out into a vast and uncertain future, but if there's anything Holy Names has prepared us for, it's seeking out the questions to ask. Let's hold on to that curiosity. Raise our hands in class, even when we feel intimidated. Ask our government how it's working to preserve our future. Challenge the institutions that turn a blind eye to systemic violence. The more we'll learn, the more questions we'll have. Let's be curious enough to not back down from that challenge. It is such a privilege to be here today with our parents and teachers and family and friends with you <laughs> together. Thank you to everyone who has helped us get to this moment. Thank you for the support, the rides, the extensions, the listening ear, the belief that we could do it. Let's hold on to this feeling, live our lives in pursuit of love and curiosity and togetherness, and trust that the rest will follow. To quote our beloved Taylor Swift, everything will be all right if we just keep dancing like we're class of 22. Thank you. Okay, we want to keep this short, I promise. So we'll get straight to it. A little story for all of you. Everyone crosses into adulthood during their high school years. It's not easy, and by now you're all aware, because you've probably been told a thousand times, maybe even today, that you guys have had it a little harder. We're optimists, and so we're always trying to find the silver lining. So, 
Picture your life journey being in a small wooden boat. Sometimes the sun is shining and you put up a little sail, effortlessly glide over the water with close friends and family nearby to your intended destination. Other times you experience storms that take you off course or separate you from your fellow travelers. All of you graduating today have experienced the biggest storm in generations while you were crossing into adulthood. You were probably worried about your, that your boat would capsize or your mast would break from the wind. The storm lasted so long that you lost track of what calm seas and easy, and easy sailing even felt like. We mentioned that we were hoping to point out a silver lining in our storm analogy, so here we go. You have gotten an extra heavy duty and early training in the resilience you will need in the rest of your life's sailing journey. Even without pandemics, you'll be surprised at how many storms we've all been through in our lives. Just ask your parents, life is messy. It's impossible to predict when, we will, when they will hit and what exactly you will need to do to navigate them. But one thing that certainly helps is the resilience that comes from overcoming challenges earlier in your life. By virtue of the fact that you are all in this hall tonight, you earned a monster helping of resilience. Congratulations. <laughs> Of course, you'll still have to make it through other storms and learn that they are a part of life. My recommendation to you when you find yourself in one and see a scary wave approaching is to give yourself the power to fly, because anything is allowed in analogies. <laughs> when you float high above a storm and look down at the churning ocean, those monster waves turn into a beautiful and intricate pattern of white caps appearing and slowly dissipating. From high up, you can see some close acquaintances and family are approaching your boat quickly to help you out. Since you, your view is no longer blocked by the storm, you can see that it has an end and that no matter which direction you go, you'll find calm waters and smooth sailing once again. Navigating the storm gives you more confidence to take on bigger storms and see they are all just part of a beautiful pattern of life. And now we'd like to leave you with a little blessing. May God bless you with anger at injustice, oppression, and exploitation of people so that you may work for justice, freedom, and peace. May God bless you with tears to shed for those who suffer pain, rejection, hunger, and war so that you may reach out your hand to comfort them and turn their pain to joy. And may, may God bless you with enough boldness to believe that you can make a difference in this world so that you can do what others claim cannot be done. Now go off and spread love and joy in the world, you extraordinary change makers. We wish you a summer of smooth sailing and calm weather as you prepare for your next big voyage.
just because